What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial today, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple flying AI. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I need to do is create a new blueprint class. In this case, it will be an actor as it will be placed in our world. Let's name this something as BP underscore flying AI and open this up. So the first thing that we want to add to our blueprint is going to be a skill to mesh as we will have like certain sort of model right for flying AI. In my case, I have imported this bird, which I will try to link in the description free from Sketchfab. Now, I also have an animation for it. So I'm going to change it on here. Animation asset. You select the bird anim and just drop it down because the animation is simply badly made <laughs> and is just, you know, offset. Okay, cool. From here, I'm going to add a minus 90. So it's looking forward, right? And now when I add it into my level, as you can see, I have it over here. Now the scale is wrong. So I'm going to just make it a bit bigger. And again, I will need to drop it. Okay, there we go. So now it is looking good, right? And it's having this little flying animation. Cool. So now we actually need to implement the flying AI. Now for this, what we're going to do is add a new component. And this component will be the projectile movement. Now you're probably wondering why are we using the projectile movement component for flying AI? Isn't this used for bullets? Well, yes, but this component has a very cool feature which we can use to simulate flying AI. And it's this homing projectile, right? Which will essentially have a target and just go into it in any direction. So we can basically fly. So for this, let's set, first of all, some of the values. Uh, the first value is going to be the initial and max speed. So for example, let's say 500 and 500. Okay. Then we need to make sure that rotation follows velocity is enabled because, you know, we want our actor to rotate, right? In this case, uh, to where it's going. Then the gravity scale will be zero as we want this to be flying in air. So gravity, you know, killed. <laughs> and then let's go down and make sure that the homing projectile is enabled. Now, very important, we also need to set up an acceleration magnitude, which is honestly how quick it will pretty much rotate. So let's put something as a thousand, which normally, you, you know, just works good. And let's go ahead and just press play. You will notice that the AI will just go forwards, right? And essentially disappear. So the thing is that right now is just going forwards because it doesn't have a homing projectile target set. So for this, let's go to the event graph and go into the begin play. So when the game starts, we will get the projectile movement component and set the homing target component. Now, this can be anything you like. In this case, I'm going to be, you know, placing the player. So I'm going to make it simple. Just get the player character from the level. Sorry, get player character. OK, and then simply just cast to the third person character, which in my case, is the character blueprint that I'm using. And then finally, I simply just want to get the mesh, for example, and plug this in. So this is actually a scene component. So I can just directly type uh, and plug in a whole actor. Okay. So in this case, that's why I'm using a mesh. This can be whatever component your character has, for example, even the capsule collider or even the, I don't know, whatever else, right? A hat that you might have, but you know, I think a mesh will work fine. So now when I press play, boom, this guy will start to follow me. Now you notice that, you know, suddenly his height kind of decreased. That's mainly because of my offset with the animation. So let me just go ahead and simply just put this higher. Okay. Now this will be a bit better. As you can see, it's now going ahead and following, which is pretty, pretty cool. So that's it, guys. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it. You could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. You now have full access to the private files from Patreon or YouTube members, so check them out. And now, yes, because I said bye bye.